Welcome to Cardinal Industries. You have just joined the largest manufacturer of modular housing in the United States. More than 7,300 people like yourselves make up the Cardinal team that now ranks as the nation's fourth largest overall builder. With five manufacturing facilities, Cardinal serves a 22-state market area from the Mississippi River to the Chesapeake Bay and from southern Florida to the Canadian border. Cardinal has produced more than 100,000 nearly identical modules. From those, the company has built and manages 700 apartment communities and 100 Nights in motels, six Cardinal Village retirement centers, numerous single-family homes, and Cardinal Park offices. Those statistics can sound awfully impressive, but they can also make it seem like Cardinal is just a large corporation with no personality and little interest in its people. But Cardinal realizes its employees are the key to its success. You are an integral part of Cardinal's drive to become the biggest and the best. I've been with Cardinal a little over 13 years. I remember attending the first Christmas party where there were 30 salaried people held in a room not much bigger than a module. We're going to introduce you to some of those employees. They are people who worked in the plant. They were secretaries. They were laborers who moved up to the management level. What makes Cardinal special is that most of those people at that Christmas party are still with the company today. The company has been able to move ahead so rapidly by following one simple mission, to be the largest and most efficient manufacturer and marketer of shelter products possible. Our mission statement is stated the way that it is, to challenge you and to challenge each of us. I believe that if we keep moving on this path, down the road of possibility, we have a future ahead of us that's really unbelievable. You can't live for just those few hours in the evening at home. You can't live for just the weekends or the vacations. You must find a fulfilled and fulfilling life at work. And your personal mission and the mission of the corporation that you work for must be something that you believe in philosophically, is meaningful, and in the end is very fun. That's what work should be about. Since the beginning, the company has followed one simple philosophy, to treat each person at Cardinal fairly and compassionately and as an individual and to encourage open access to management at all levels. This is a simple philosophy that begins at the very top of the company. The best way to understand this belief is to meet some of the people who have worked right alongside Austin Gerlinger in the plant as Cardinal was just getting started. He was, I knew he was a good man to work for, but I worked right with him. And he treated me good. Well, I really, I really liked him from the first day I saw him. Sure did. He sat and talked to you then, he stopped and talked to you just like he was a working man with you, and he did till the day I had to quit. Leaving a job you like is never easy, even if it's for retirement. But I know he said that, he, that I was his friend, and that's good enough for me. That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> even though Austin has to spread his time today between five factories, his continued presence in his plants is an indication to his people that he still cares very much about the people that work for him. He's driven trucks, he's used nail guns, used hammers, you know, he's been involved in all of it. So it's, I can remember the time that he would estimate uh, at night and run out and sell a product the next day and then come back and assist in the purchasing of it and, and the manufacturing of it. It required all those talents to to keep it in operation properly. The company went through some major changes in 1970 when it switched from the production of components to the manufacturing of modules. There were some employees that doubted the module itself, but I don't think anybody really doubted Austin. Plant tour up in uh, Illinois, and we were flying in from back from Chicago one night, and uh, Austin started telling me about the uh, module and uh, he had an idea that he'd go into this other business uh, and he took out a napkin and he drew this one bedroom unit which would be two boxes 
and he had made a study of all the business he'd done in the component business that in excess of 70% of all the units we built were a one bedroom unit. And he said, I think we'll go into this business and uh, we will build and offer one bedroom units. One day we built one out in the middle of the floor, Ron Dyer and, and a few of us and, and put it together and uh, looked at it and he asked me, he said, what do you think about it? And I said, well, it, it better work or we're all gonna be out of a job. And he said, you're right. And Ron Geyer even said, I don't think we can get more than seven of these a day. And right now we're running 24 of those cubes out the door. His ideas are the reason that we have become successful. His ability to keep trying when others said it could never be done. Austin's so single-minded in his purpose. Austin is 100% cardinal. Well, I could tell right away that he was a very hard-working man. Uh, I developed a very strong confidence in the gentleman. Uh, and watching him work, uh, a confidence that whatever would happen, Austin would be able to pull it through and make it, make it work. That's when uh, Austin first started talking about the modular, we were still in production with the component business. And Ron Geyer built the first two buildings on blocks in the plant over a side. So we got to looking at these boxes, you know, and people got to talking about this is the way we're going to go, you know, into the module business. And we all got excited over the module in the early stage once we, we seen what, what the module was. Some of us, I'm sure, didn't, didn't even realize what really is a module apartment. Well, when we, we put them on the production line, we were getting a box a day. They're going to up it to a box and a half. No big deal. They got up to about four boxes, and I was running the trim department at the time. We had a meeting, we are going to raise it again. And Bill Evans says, people's lost their damn mind. There's no way they're going to get six or eight boxes off this line in one day. And uh, now they're getting 20, 24. But, uh, as busy as things were in those early days, people wearing many hats, working long hours, doing whatever it took to get the job done, Austin was never too busy to notice an employee that might need some special attention. Back in those days, he seen that they had a paycheck. It was hard times then. And from that time up to this date, the people now have a lot of benefits. And he still takes care of those people. And if there's anything those people need, he'll see if they get it. Well, I know he walked down through the shop one day and Freddie Freddy um, Wiseman sitting there and his shoe was flopping over. Austin looked, come along, looked down, reached in his pocket and handed him a $20 bill. <laughs> told him to go get him a pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a kick out of that. <laughs> walked on. <laughs> it's a feeling of caring throughout the company whether it's helping a guy get a pair of shoes or helping a family cope with the devastation of losing their home to a fire. Really helped me out a lot on that. You know, help, like Dave Baker, he helped me get into an apartment and everything, and then went around and got a lot of stuff and together for me, furniture and some wives and clothing, everything. They really went all out to help me in any way they could. Well, I've been around a long time. I worked for a lot of companies, and uh, Cardinal Industries, to me, is really takes the welfare of their people in mind. And they, they really want to see that they have everything taken care of, their medical benefits and their insurance, and I think it's a great company myself. I can't, it's great. With the success Cardinal has enjoyed, the company, and Austin in particular, are now able to give to the communities as well to the Harrison house there, and Austin was standing out in the crowd, and you couldn't have told him from one of the street people had he on good old yard. <laughs> You'd kill me for saying this. And he turned around, and I knew what he gave for that, and that was a lot. He said, well, Art, he says, I've made it, now it's time to give it back.
newspaper reporter once asked Austin what the president of a large corporation really does. And Austin replied to her, I create jobs. I mean, the man really works to make his company progress. You think he's earning his living? Yeah, he's earned his <laughs> living. He's earned a living for a lot of people. Obviously, the company's been successful. And the growth we've experienced in the past has been phenomenal. But I've heard Austin talk about that growth in terms of us being on a ladder with 100 steps. And from his perspective, we're only on the third rung. We have to keep readjusting to what is possible. We don't have small goals. We don't have a short vision. We intend to achieve things that have never been achieved before. We're thinking very differently than anybody else does in this business. We're involved in a very vital industry, housing. Food and shelter are probably the two most important things anyone can relate to. And we are a significant contributor in the shelter industry and will be an ever more significant contributor as time goes by. The company knows that if it's to achieve these ambitious goals that it's set for itself, it needs to hire and keep good people. People that take pride in their work and want to share in the company's success. This is the way it is. It's like one big family here at Cardinal. There isn't any limit to what we can do with the module. No, we never have had a layoff at Cardinal. We never have missed a payroll at Cardinal no. since day one. As long as you come here and do your job and work every day, this company is the greatest place in the world to work. Work hard and be proud of what you're doing. Once again, welcome to Cardinal Industries and the Cardinal family. Looking to the future, we see only more expansion for Cardinal and greater opportunities to provide new and better shelter for millions of Americans. We're glad you're going to be here to share in Cardinal's success.